Welcome, hashtag uh, Paul Aspie, with a remake of uh, My Art and My Asperger's. I had some music issues, so I decided to remake and add two. Bold Creatures, the horse sculptures and paintings of Robert John Burton. I was born on the farm. Horses were nearby. As a child, I belonged to a farming generation that was closer to the everyday use of horses. But more than that, I recognised that horses, unless trained, were very jumpy creatures, a common factor in autism spectrum disorder. I identify with the skittish nature of them in my own Asperger's. Have you experienced pareidolia in the most unexpected places? My workshops were often rough and ready with sheds with groups of paint on the wall. I found my horse design in an odd place. My aspy mind sees the uncommon in ordinary things. Seeing a horse shape in a patch of marks or a face in a pattern on the carpet are example of what is called pareidolia. I use a horse head for my studio name, Crazy Horse. However, I was also born in the year of the horse under Chinese astrology. Apparently, I demand to create. Bold Creatures was an exhibition from 1994 when art exhibitions were a thing because they were on the social circuit in the regions. Social media had yet to happen, and with the recent events, it's a questionable practice now. Life was simpler then. Horses are bloody attractive creatures built to be productive, enthusiastic, industrious and agreeable. They present a challenging shape to make those traits new past the obvious. Horses bolt and leave flames and homes and boring people and family and find new places to graze and trample. Independent to a fault, the horse will only respect you if you are fair. They will never forget the whip. Horses are thunderers and will make outrageous statements to your face and people say cats have Asperger's. The horse only knows the truth and the hard road underfoot. A trait of Asperger's is to be honest. Horses are too powerful to play games. There is much in common. Zood was another exhibition I was in during 2004. Many of the traits of independence and dealing with emotional honesty were on the cards. This horse was not impressed by insincere gestures. A creature who believes in his own metal and if undermined by lesser beings will shower dust and mud in their face as he gallops off never to be seen again. Horses move even when still the light ripples around their full bodies. The horse represents progress and the past does not exist. The horse is uncompromising and will gallop right over your flower beds. Horses hate wimps and will dump people who let life wash over them. Do something, be alive for a while, stand up and look towards the horizon. However, when the horse is stubborn, he will not be led to water and his so choose as to be seen to have been struck deaf, blind and dumb at once. Horses are stoic. What is, is, although they have the ability to be unusual within the confines of the everyday ordinary. The expression to work like a horse can take them to the stars. Then it's time to rest and replenish all that nervous energy horses in the gistment work on paper. Or stand around in galleries as clay sculptures, hand-built, fired clay, rounded horses by Robert John Burton. Or into the realms where inspiration travels across time and space. Thank you for viewing. Please like, subscribe, comment and share.